We're making a timeline using Excel's bubble chart. Across the bottom are milestone dates for reference, and the circles towards the top of the chart show events and what happened at each of those points in time. We have two tables in the template, and each one corresponds to one of those sets of bubbles. So we have a template that you can use to create these, or you can create it from scratch yourself. So if you're using the template, then you can work from our foundation to add your own values. So here's a few things you can do. You can change the X values to represent the milestone years that you want to show. You can change the labels that appear in each of the circles. And you can change the size of the bubbles. For example, if you want to show, then they alternate size. And you can even change the position of the bubbles if you want them to look a little more freestyle. The same thing goes for the event table. Any changes you make in the template are immediately reflected in the chart. You can also add more events. To do this, you'll insert new rows at the end of the table, and then you'll drag down the table handle. Then you simply fill in the year, Y position, and the label of your new events. You'll add extra reference years across the bottom by following the same steps in the axis table. All of that should give you a really good sense of how to work with the template chart that we've provided. If you would prefer to start from scratch, now let's walk through how you would create one of these charts yourself. So first, we'll create the axis bubbles. You're going to select the X, Y, and size columns of the table and go to Insert and choose the Scatter Graphs and pick the Bubble option. Now that you have bubbles, then let's format them. We'll right-click on a bubble and select Format Data Series to format it the way that you want. You can give it a different color, you can add a border, and you can change the width of the border so it's more noticeable. All right, now we'll format the axis. On the Axis Options pane, then find the Label section, and for the Label Position, select None. On the Fill in Line Bucket pane, then let's have a solid line the same color as our bubbles, and we'll increase the line width so that it's easier to see. While we're at it, let's also delete the grid lines on the chart to give it a more clean look. Now we'll go back to the chart and we'll right click on the axis bubbles and select Add Data Labels. These are going to show up as tiny little labels. Try and find one of these and click on it. And then you'll check the option for Value from Cells and select the labels from your axis labels table. You're going to uncheck the Y value and choose center for the label position. And let's also increase the font size so it's easier to see these. Also, you can format one of the bubbles individually from the other ones. Um, so you can give it its own size or color if you want it to stand out in a different way. Now we're done with the axis label bubbles and it's time to move on to the events for our timeline. So to create the data series for the timeline events, then you're going to right click on the chart and choose select data. Click add to add a new data series and let's name it something like events. We'll choose the year for the x values, the y position for the y values, and the size for the size values. Now we have a bubble for each event. We can format the event bubbles just like we did with the axis bubbles. We can give them a color and add a solid line border. We can pick a color for the line and increase the width of that border. Um, just a note here, if the markers for your new data series don't show up on your chart, make sure that your horizontal and vertical axis bounds are both set to auto and then they should all show up. Now we can add the vertical line connecting the event bubble and the timeline axis. We'll select the chart and click on the plus icon and then choose error bars, more options, and select the event series. Now we can format them. We want to choose minus so it only shows the line going downward. We don't need a cap 
and the percentage is going to be 100% of the dot's distance from the x-axis. Now we can format the lines, so under the bucket, then we can change the color and the width that we want. Okay, great, we have markers for each event, but we still need the description of each event. So to do that, we're gonna right click on the event series and select add data labels. Then we'll format them just like we did with the axis. We're gonna choose value from cells and this is where we select the range of the labels from the event table. Let's uncheck the Y value, although here you can select the X value option if you want to show the year as part of the event label. For the label position, let's choose above. And now lines and text are kind of showing up on top of each other. It's getting a little messy. So there's a few things we can do for this. Let's start with, for the data labels, then let's give it a solid white fill, but then we don't wanna block everything behind it, so we'll set the transparency to about 25%. This way you can still see all the lines, but the text is more readable. And now if things are still on top of each other, there's a few things you can do, and I'd recommend doing them in this order. First, you can increase the size of your chart and then you can play with the Y position values to change the height of where each of these labels is showing up. And then you can focus in on individual labels. You can resize a label to make it more narrow or more tall. And then if resizing alone isn't enough, you can just move it to somewhere where it's not going to overlap anything that's important. Once you have the labels where you want them, um, you can go ahead and delete the Y axis by selecting it and pressing delete. And you can also add a title to the chart um, by typing your own title, or if you want, you can go up to the formula bar and type equals, and then select a cell where your title is already written. Okay, that's it, we covered a lot, and this should give you a good toolkit to build these charts on your own. If you want a head start on creating your own bubble timeline, you can download the Excel template that I used for this video and use it as a good foundation. You can also check out our other videos and subscribe to our channel so you can see how to make more timelines and other cool kinds of charts.